Hi guys, it's me again, Nahir, and today I'm going to tell you even more about my book, Life of a Miserable Kid. So last time I told you about how Bertha got a giant robot to try and like, like throw away Brian or do something bad to him. And then it was about self-destruct when his uncle came out of nowhere and, and like disarmed the bomb. And then he got not really adopted, it's kind of his family, so he just got taken by his uncle to his awesome high-tech house, which also had his older cousin, Jonathan. So today I'm going to tell you about the new school he's going to. So when he woke up, he had a whole bunch of robotic furniture, so it all said, they all said hi! And then for breakfast, his small robot servants got him some fried chicken from KFC with some chips. And he kind of really liked it. He can have some nice breakfast, unlike his normal, miserable old life that he had. So his uncle told him about his new school, uh, Royal, Royal Circle uh, Primary School. So he was going to do tryouts and... It said if you get 50% or more on the test, he'll join the circle. So then he, he and his uncle went in a normal car since he doesn't want to get a spy cover blown up. Like, everyone's going to know it. So they took out normal Mercedes. So then when they came to the school, it looked old-fashioned and everybody was so, like... They were all like soldiers, like when the teacher said, do 100 push-ups, they did the exact thing. And then they looked like they were sweating and they just came from a waterfall. And the place smelled a lot. So then when he went to the headmistress office, she looked pretty disgusting, like a troll. Her eyes were wide open. She had so many wrinkles and she had nails as long as a toilet roll, like, there. So then she said, Welcome to Royal Circle Primary School. So, as you know, you checked on the website and looked at all the information. So, if you want to get in the circle, so here's Michael to show you around school, okay? So then Michael said, What's your name? And Brian said, I don't care, just show me around the school. So they were going around all the different places like the chemistry lab then like all the craft classrooms but the problem was that they were all pretty old and Brian was like why is everything so old? The like it's from the Victorian times and then Michael said uh, well the teachers like old school stuff so they just keep the old furniture that they never cleaned or never washed or never even took out the rats and he said you how do you even survive here and then michael said uh well we wear victorian clothes that are not washed as well for school and then brian said what do you do for the toilets and michael said uh, we use the old-fashioned ones he said yeah you do it in a hole and michael said no it's the Roman ones. And then Brian was like even more disgusted because Roman toilets were kind of weird. You had to sit on them and then everyone was also beside you and you talked while you're doing party. So he was like, Do you even get privacy? And he's like, uh, well, I don't know. So then when he went to the mistress office, Brian said awkward like uh, sarcastically uh, it was a really good school and the uh, headmistress um, had to show one last place before he left, the library. And then Michael showed him to there. And Brian, he looked at all of the old books which are worth like hundreds of thousands of dollars. He was like, why don't you sell these books? And Michael said, well, the teachers dislike these books. Like, they're nice, they're dusty, they're old. And Brian was like, your teachers are so dumb. And since Michael was like kind of Victorian because he was trained at the school for like a few years. And he was like a Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. And Brian kind of 
hates people like that. He just thinks of them as the polite and not big tell tales of human species. And then he said, and Michael called the nearest teacher, Mrs. Wrinkly Gross. And then a, like a woman just came like, and then she had cat eye glasses and one of her eyes were blind and her other one was just normal. And she said, apologize right now. And Frank said, uh, sorry. And then Miss Wrinkly Gross said, what type of apology is that? Just say sorry. Or I will slap your butt with a whip. And Brent said, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, and they were both okay with that. Michael said, uh, you're forgiven. And Miss Wrinkly Gross said, you're lucky because if you do one last thing like that, one, you'll fa fail your test and not enter the school. And another, you'll get slapped in the butt. So Brian got lucky and then went home and tried to tell his uncle about his like weird school experience. And his uncle didn't really believe him because it was kind of weird. So then he went to bed with all the robots do, at, like making cool hologram decorations so he gets happy and it's his favorite music which is just any music. Thanks for watching my video. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. If you, hit any, if you have any questions, uh, tell me in the comments box. box. I'll see you soon, bye.